Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping on by. If you're a first time watcher or subscriber, glad to have you here. So today I have a, uh, it's not really a review, but it's quite a, sort of like a, um, a little chat and uh, inform information se uh, session, let's say. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about a mystery candle here in the States. Um, it, was, it came out in the UK. It's a Yankee candle, of course. It came out in the UK um, early spring this year as a UK exclusive, I believe. And then um, it just started showing up in um, a, a, a vessel, not a, not a normal houseworm, but like a, a tumbler. And uh, it just started showing up at the outlets and at the Yankee Candle uh, retail stores for a semi-annual sale. And it's kind of been a mystery to all of us in, uh, in this form. And I think I cracked it. I, I think uh, I'm going to say with 98% certainty. Um that this candle, and of course I am talking about raindrops, and candle raindrops. This is this is the the mystery vessel that we're we're all trying to figure out what is going on with, and I think I cracked the case. So um, if you recall back in the spring, um, or back in winter rather, we had the spring preview, and it had five. Uh, they came in these vessels, these uh, what do they call it, fluted vessels, like like uh, liquor glasses, you know. Uh, they were what are these nine point five ounces, and they were twelve ninety nine for this, um, in in that wax instead of the normal seven ounce, um, uh, small tumblers that we get, and um, came out in five fragrances. So it came out in the early spring bloom, came out in the juicy citrus and sea salt, came out in the common quiet place, com uh, common quiet place, came out in sun drenched um, apricot rose, and then it came out with sweet nothings. So. Um, this candle, what I have in my possession here is a 2018 pour. Uh, I've heard people have 2017 pours in their possession. And, um, first I want to talk about this candle. I'm not going to do a full review on it. If you want a full review on the fragrance, go check out Shane at the Candle Enthusiast, uh, on his YouTube channel. He did a tremendous review on this. Um, I am going to say that, and I've talked to others, uh, Doug specifically, who has had this, um, not this exact candle, but this vessel he got back for the spring preview. And uh, he mentioned it burned horribly, and I concur. It burns horribly. I had this going for five hours uh, in a hurricane, and it barely pulled out. I had to put some foil around it to pull out. So that is, I, I do not like these. And th this opening is actually larger than a house warmer jar. Um, and so you would think you get a strong throw. It was, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but, um, the wicks, I despise these wicks. These are the wicks that, um, they're, they're wrapped, like they're intertwined together. And when they burn, they, they unwrap, oh, so you can't see, they unravel. And I had a decent flame on it for the most part, but, uh, it's just, you know, I, I paid five bucks for it, so I'm not going to complain. Um, if I had to, I would just, you know, pop this in the freezer, pop it out and then chop it up, melt it, you know, no big deal there, but it comes with this, um, this label here, just a little dust cover there. It's just like an umbrella, I believe it's like an umbrella and it's the same label, same, uh, pattern that's on the side there. So this is a very fresh and clean scent. I'm going to read you the description and then I'm going to tell you how I think I've cracked the case. So, um, it says, Raindrops is the center of fragrance, balanced with gentle jasmine, a whisper, a whisper of patchouli, and warm amber musk. Fragrance notes, top top notes, mandarin leaf, and then we have middle, we have jasmine, cedarwood, and then the base is patchouli, sandalwood, and amber musk. So I am going to overlay a picture here. And uh, as you can see in this picture, it looks like they swapped out uh, sweet nothing, or they swapped out this for raindrops for sweet nothings so it looks like sweet nothings was, was going to be the afterthought instead raindrops got knocked out and so we have here we have the five fragrances including raindrops there so i truly believe this was meant to be a spring preview fragrance um, a spring fragrance and they just um for whatever reason or another they decided against it uh clearly it passed the quality control um for the UK, so uh, I don't know if they if they were just like, ah, oh, let's you know give the UK their own um, special fragrance for the spring, because um, I think they even got I think they got sweet nothing, so um, <clears throat> I think they got all of these except for juicy uh, 
juicy citrus, and I don't think they got. I could be wrong, but. <sighs> so, if you're shopping your semi-annual sale, go ahead, check this out. They're $5. It's not a bad fragrance. It really isn't. Um, it's pretty neat. It's It has this, um, you know, this is one of those candles that has that aura about it. It's like, oh, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, if you've seen us talk about, uh, us, I mean candle reviewers, talk about this Georgia Peach Candle uh, by Yankee Candle. And that is, um, it was supposed to come out last year. Uh, it was uh, shown off at a trade show. And it never was released nationwide in retail or any of the retail stores or like any of like the wholesalers. Um, except for TJ Maxx Marshall's Home Goods. It showed up there, twelve ninety nine large jar. Um, they even had some medium jars. So they produced medium and large jars of that fragrance, that summer, or Georgia peach, rather, which I think is the same thing as the UK summer peach. I'm not certain. Um, peach scents are not really my thing. So, uh, so yeah, this, uh, check it out. For five bucks, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong on this. Now, I'm going to address the fall preview. Um, okay. I don't know if that stopped or not, but... Uh, gave me a low battery warning for whatever reason. So, fall preview. I did the review of Sunkiss Thistle. I have the large house warmer jar of that, and I went over some of the upcoming fragrances. I listed them all in the, the in the uh, description there. And you know, um, I'm deciding I'm not going to do a fall preview video on the other three scents that are out for the fall video for the fall preview right now. The which is the poached uh, pear flambe, the um, Tranquil Mist and um, the Sugared Apple Cinnamon, I think it is. So uh, I am not, I, I am just not really hyped about those scents. Um, they don't really do anything for me. So, but if you want to check out um, three good videos on that, go check out, uh, once again, Shane Candle Enthusiast. Uh, check out Doug from Spooky Villages. And then go check out Anthony at Candle Cafe. All three of those guys just today uh, literally released. Um, their videos of that of uh, those four fragrances there so i am choosing to skip that fall preview i'm going to be focusing on the fall candles that are going to be coming out later so i'm gonna try to get my hands on a couple of those um early if i can of course i'm going to be focusing on the yankee candle halloween and then i have other companies uh that i will be focusing on bath and body works uh goose creek candle homeworks of course um so yeah, I'm just I'm the only thing I'm not doing is I'm just not doing those three other fragrances. So I will not be uh, talking about them right now, at least. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Please uh, remember to like, comment. You know, leave some notes down there below. Subscribe, please subscribe, and um, you know you'll that way you'll get uh, alerts uh, and every time that I post a video. Um, and then check out my Instagram at Philly Candleman. Same thing on Twitter at Philly Candleman. Check it out. All the information is below. So I thank you for watching, and I will catch up with you real soon, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.